Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Well today I'm making another really easy crock pot recipe for us and it is called Mongolian Beef. Yum. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee! Alright y'all, Mongolian Beef in the crock pot. This is a super easy recipe. And the thing I like about this recipe is it's just one pot. You don't have to sear your meat or do anything like that. You just throw it all in one pot, turn it on. Basically, that is it. So, um, I'll include all the ingredients in the description of this video, but here's what you got to have. First thing you have to have, of course, is some steak. Now, you can use kind of about any steak that you want to use. Flank steak is probably a good choice. Flank steak is. This, however, is sirloin steak. That's what I'm using. Okay. Cornstarch. Matchstick carrots. Aren't those cute? I love those. Green onions. This is brown sugar. Water. Soy sauce. Minced garlic. Vegetable oil. Sriracha. And this is ginger. And also sesame seeds. Now the sesame seeds and the green onions, these are going to be used for garnish. So I'm going to set those over to the side. Alright. So first thing you're going to do you need you a plastic bag, a like a gallon size storage bag, okay? And you are going to, I may just use my hands for this because my hands are clean. I washed them, which everybody should wash your hands before you cook. <laughs> so we're just going to put all of this steak in this bag, okay? Every bit of it. And then we're going to put the cornstarch in there. Put all that cornstarch in the bag. Seal it up really good. Leave you some air in there. And you're just going to want to shake it around and coat all of that beef with cornstarch. Okay? It is super easy to do that. Might want to get in there and kind of rub it around like that just to make sure that so the steak sticks together so you want to make sure that you get in there and unstick any of the pieces okay set that to the side the next thing you're going to do you are going to in your crock pot you are going to put your water Soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic. That's a lot of garlic, but you know what? We're garlic fans, aren't we, honey? Mm hmm. Sure are. Woo! Ginger. Or you can spill it like I did. Ginger. Vegetable oil. Y'all, this smells good already. Vegetable oil. Sriracha. Now, this recipe does not call for as much sriracha as I put in here. Only about half of this, but I doubled it because, well, Big Joe's a fan. Love the sriracha. He's a fan. And you're going to put your carrots in there. Now, um... Take you a spoon and you're just going to stir all this together. You're going to want to attempt to you're going to, I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was too busy watching this. You're going to um, stir it around really good and make sure that the brown sugar gets stirred up good because it will clot in here. It will make a big old hunk. So you got to um, stir that up really good. So the brown sugar gets dissolved, a little bit anyway. Okay, that's what it looks like before you put the beef in. That's it. So, take your bag, your plastic bag, and I'm gonna do this a little. I'm gonna do this with my hands again just so I get it spread out in the crock pot really well.
try not to pile it up as much. Okay. Okay, now after you do this, after you put the beef in the crock pot, that's all you're gonna do. For now, you're going to just put your lid on it and you're going to put it on low for four hours or if you're on a time crunch, you can cook it on high for two hours. Either way, it's perfectly fine. It's still gonna come out good and tender, but every hour you want to come back to the crock pot and give it a stir to make sure that the beef and the sauce mixture that you've done is really good and combined. So we'll be back. All right, we're about halfway through the cooking time. Look how good that looks. The smell will drive you nuts while this is cooking. It smells delicious, but just a little longer, about halfway there. All right, the Mongolian beef is all done. It's time for Big Joe to do the taste test. All right, so after you get it on your serving bowl or plate or whatever, you do want to top it with the scallions and the sesame seeds. You ready for this? Mm, smells amazing. It does, doesn't it? It really, it looks good. I made a big old pot of rice. Cool it off. Because it is hot. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. It just came out of the crock pot. It's just now done. Mmm. Mmm. I'm speechless. That is so good. So good. So good it gets. Mmm, 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 mmm. I guess that's it for the Mongolian beef. Go try it. Go to the grocery store right now and get right the stuff and make now. it. It's so good. You'll love it. Because if you do try this recipe, please let us know down in the comments. You know how we love to know how you like all our recipes. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe Malia's world into your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye.